good day friends it is me hl mod tech and today i'm here with a tinkercad tutorial where we are going to make some epic keychains that are actually printable so my friends let's get cracking there are two things we need to do before we get started first you need to find the empty tools folder double click on it and inside it you'll see one that says shortcut to sdl and i and I need you to right click that and choose pinned quick access. That way it'll always be available up here on the quick access folder just like that. That is the location where we put all of our files that get printed. Make sure your neighbors are good with that one as well and then quickly do this where you click on the three dots for your Chrome, choose settings, scroll all the way to the bottom and choose advanced and scroll all the way down to the download and make sure that you tell it to ask where to save before each downloading. Make sure your neighbors are successful with that and then you can move on to the next part where we actually make our first keychain. All right, so here comes the fun part. Click on create new design. Name it keychain with your initials. So there's KC and I'm gonna do MDH. I've done this for years, so I'm gonna put 2019 on mine. You don't have to put that necessarily. You could put V1 or V2. Bring out a box. When you set that box down, there are rules. It must be 70 and it must be 25. And let's look at it from a corner. I also demand that you make it two millimeters thick. If you want to make it a different color, you may, but you really don't have much choice. Whatever we're printing on is the color that your project is gonna be. If you want to round your corners, you can change this radius to the number two. That is a nice number. I don't want other numbers. It does round underneath though, so sometimes I choose not to do that. I am going to leave mine with straight corners. Let's cut a hole in our keychain quick. Bring out a cylinder, hold down shift and shrink it a little bit, but then type the number five in the box so it becomes size five on every side. Let's switch to the top view and just use the arrow keys to move it into our keychain. When you think you're happy and have a couple millimeters on each side, you can zoom in and make sure it looks cool. I like that, but I do want to make sure that it is totally round. So I'm going to do my sides as 64. And then I'm going to look at it from a corner and underneath to make sure it cuts through. When I draw a box that touches both of them, you'll note it says two shapes. And I can group it so now my hole is cut out. The next step is to add words, and that is super simple. I'm gonna look at it from a corner or a side, and I'm gonna hit the work plane, and I want my words to land on top. I'm gonna bring out the text option, and because I did that work plane, it sits on top. I'm gonna backspace over it, and I'm gonna put my name. You can pick from the different fonts, take whatever you want, and then click the little box, and we demand that this is two millimeters thick. So our entire project is two on the keychain and two on the name. Take your name and use the black handles to shrink it so that it fits exactly as you want. You can move it left or right, whatever you need to get it so your keychain is ready to be printed. At that point, group them. It'll turn one color, but that is fine because that is what we're gonna have on the 3D printers. And just like that, you've created your first keychain. Let's create a second one quick though, and make it just a little bit different. Once again, we are gonna stretch it out using the black handle and we're gonna type 70, cause that is the rule. We're gonna take the corner and we're gonna make it 25, cause once again, that is the rule. Make it two millimeters thick, cause we're good at it. Bring out a hole, hold down shift, shrink it a little bit, type the number five, press enter, I'm going to click on the red piece and I'm going to look at it from the top and that lets me grab my little hole, nudge it to where I want. I'm going to group those two again. I'm going to move that one more over. And just like that, I'm ready for another keychain, but watch this. This time we're going to go to all. And when we go to all, I'm going to go to page two and find the sweet script. Click my work plane, add the script. And this time I'm going to change my words to say HL Mod Tech. Once again, I backspace H L M O D T E C H. Helps if I actually put an H. But this time, instead of the words being on top, I'm going to sync the words in. First, though, I'm going to use this black handle. It's real important that you do that instead of the white handles. 
White handles go in two directions. I'm gonna undo because I didn't want to do that. There's my black handle to get that to fit. I'm gonna look at it from this corner. That lets me see the height. I'm gonna change this to one millimeter this time and I'll show you why in a minute. So now I'm pretty happy with how that fits. I'm gonna just move it in a couple more and I'm gonna make it a hole. Now it's still sitting on top, but if I do one millimeter grid and control down arrow, it sinks into my keychain. At that point, I can grab the two of them and I'm gonna group them to make our second style of keychain. Now this one's nice because it fits in your pocket and you don't have the bumps and it also uses less plastic, which means it should print faster. Let's set our work plane back to the back. We've got two awesome keychains. Why stop there? Let's go back and do a third one. Go to basic shapes. And if you scroll through, you can find a sweet heart. Once again, take the heart and shrink it down to two millimeters thick. And then just like I tell you the rules are 70 by 70, this one starts out at 26 and 28. You can grow it a little bit up into the 30s or the 40s, but then make sure you set it back to two millimeters thick. Once again, do that hole. Simply bring out your cylinder, shrink it a little bit, type your number five, press enter, use the arrow keys to move it where you want. I'm gonna quickly click on the shape and fit the view to it and pick the spot where I wanna put that hole. I can click and just find a corner that I think is cool. And then I'm going to grab and group. And then you can click the work plane, set it on top. I'm going to use the plain text this time. And I'm going to drag it out on top. And I am just going to put the initials of something I think is cool. M T for mod tech. Same rules, black handle, squish. Look at it from an angle, change it to two millimeters thick and press enter. You could also do the sunk in trick. Matter of fact, I'm gonna real quick. This time I'm gonna do a little different. I'm gonna leave it two millimeters thick, but I'm gonna do control down and only sink it in one millimeter. And then when I group it, it'll be a frugal keychain that has the letters I want on it and is ready to be printed. Let's do work plane and set it back to the bottom. We have got three awesome keychains. You've got tons of room to explore, but I'm gonna give you a fourth kind of keychain. Bring out a chunk of scribble, set it down. And for this keychain, you can draw anything you want. I am gonna make a simple Christmas tree because it is almost Christmas. Now with scribble, it is very hard to be perfect but you can always undo and try again and again and again till you're happy. Once you've got your shape drawn, you need to fill it all in. I'm gonna fill it in like this. You don't have to be perfect, you just need to eventually have all the parts filled in the way you want. If you miss a part, you just go back over it, a couple swipes, and boom, you've got a sweet little keychain and we'll show you how to add some words and a hole to it so it's ready for printing. Do make sure you get rid of all those little nuggets. You can also use these same techniques to erase other parts. So I'm gonna switch to the erase one and then I'm gonna cut this just a little bit more straight down here at the bottom. And do the same thing over here. You can try this again and again and again till you're happy. You can go back to draw and get it so that you're happy. When you're done, click done. Follow the same rules where it has to be under the 70 by 30. It has to also be two millimeters thick. I'm gonna stretch mine a little longer and a little wider. See how it's the same size. Once again, we bring out a hole. Hold down shift, shrink it a little, type that number five for the five millimeter hole. I'm gonna click on top of my shape and I'm gonna zoom to it. I'm gonna look at it from the top. When I click on the hole, I can use the arrow keys to nudge it into place. Select, group, work plane, set it on top. Add your words. This time I'm gonna type ho. 
squish it down nice and small so it fits. Look at it from that angle because that's how we can see the height. Remember the rules that it had to be two millimeters and I'm going to do ho ho ho. So I'm going to do control D to duplicate and control D to duplicate and boom I've just made a cute little adorable Christmas keychain. Ought to make it green even though I've got no guarantee it's going to print green. It just looks cool and I'm going to set my work plane back to normal. Alrighty friends, I'm going to allow you to print one of your keychains. You can earn other prints later, but you can only print one at this time. Pick the one that you like the most, whichever one you pick, I am flexible. And then with that one selected, I need you to hit export. We are exporting the STL. When this screen pops up, you need to find your quick access and make sure you choose the STL folder. Make sure your keychain has KC, your initials, and maybe V1, V2, or V3, and hit save. If you're begging for a color, you can type a color after it. No guarantees I can do the color. Once you hit save to that spot, it is in the location where I can print it. And then you can take the screenshot of the lesson and turn it into classroom. I will not print anybody's projects until that screenshot is turned in. Alrighty friends, I hope you had a ton of fun building these sweet little keychains. You can build more keychains than you got here. You just need to make sure you turn in the screenshot with the four so that you can get the lesson completed in class. If you did have fun, please give it a like. If you've got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button and last but not least, hit the notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.